Hi, this is Raj from MR Sports Cars. Another one of my comparison videos here with two very special 911 turbos. They are both 997 Gen 1.5s, which were only made for about nine months between 2000, mid-2008 and 2009. They both have the last of the Metzger twin turbo, 485 horsepower engines. What makes them special is the combination of that Metzger engine with all of the updated 997 Gen 2 electronics. So they have the PCM, the air conditioning systems, all taken out of the later 997 Gen 2s, which was introduced in late 2009. This convertible was made in 2008, and this was made in early 2009. So both within that very narrow window. And obviously contrasting colors, which, which really set them apart. It's nice that the, the convertible is in triple black. So it's got a black hood, black interior, black paint. And also it's got the Tiptronic box. The, um, the key also controls the roof, which is quite swish. So it all folds away neatly into that little area there. That's something the coupe can't do. So looking inside the, the convertible, it has the standard, what are called comfort seats, although they have the addition of full electric, so they're the 14-way uh, electric with lumbar support, so you've got three extra cushions of support which are adjustable. This is the updated PCM as I talked about. So it is touch screen, it's got Bluetooth connectivity which the earlier Gen 1 cars do not have. And they also um, come with the upgraded air conditioning and all of that is in a lovely black finish which doesn't chip and flake the switches don't don't do that unlike the gen 1 cars which have lots sort of like a rubbery finish so this car has the the tiptronic box as i said it has red stitching as well which is really really lovely along with red seat belts red calipers just like the other one as well that's standard the red calipers unless they were specced with the um, optional carbon ceramic brakes then looking at the the coupe this has the same PCM3 touchscreen navigation it has the manual gearbox so it has an aluminium shifter there six speed and it has the optional hardback sport seats which are these are either 16 or 18 way so they have extra support for the for the the bolsters can actually go in and out and there's the hardback plastics so yeah really lovely car this car's a sunroof as well multifunction steering wheel the other one has the non multifunction steering wheel so there's a good contrast there and this one has the memory seats as well. So you've got memory settings. Both have bows. So looking at how they differ, you have, I would say that there's a little bit more room in here for the, for the rear seats. The angle of the rear seats is actually different to the convertible. They sort of tilt slightly forwards. So they're not as comfortable for those that are gonna be sitting in the back compared to in the coupe. Hey. This sort of a slightly better, more natural angle. The roof area is obviously compromised in the in the coupe. If you're sort of over five five foot five, you'll find your head does hit that if you go over a bump unexpectedly. Whereas obviously with the with the roof down, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, I mean looking at looking at the two. For every, everything is is very similar. All the controls are the same. There's no real difference other than you've got the extra control for the roof in the convertible.
the keys also um, let me just show you the two keys so they're gen 2 keys because it's a gen 1.5 it had the updated key design so they're not uh, a shiny gray plastic which was prone to cracking it has an extra button on the convertible one to control the hood but other than that they both They both have the same front end. So they're both four wheel drives, so they have the slightly smaller boot compared to the two wheel drive Carrera 2S. So there's the front, the batteries behind that section there, under that panel. All the tools and things are under, under here, as well as the tire gel. If you get a flat and the screen wash is, is just there. So again, same, exactly the same. You've got all your tools down in the bottom there, tire gel, screen wash, battery. That stuff is identical between the two. And then looking in the engine compartment, so where you've got that flat six, twin turbo, variable vane technology engine. So there's the silver coupe, there's the gloss black convertible, same setup, everything exactly in the same places, even the, the wings are identical. So this car was specced with red tail lights, these are the standard tail lights, they have that white band. Exhaust tips are the same on both, badges are the same, and they're the same width. It's just obviously you don't have a roof on the convertible. Now these had the preparation for a hard top, so you could, you could on the convertible you could have the hard top specified. So you pull these. I won't do it now, but you pull these out and you get the actually heat element with a glass screen all powered through there. The car actually does have a glass rear screen. I'll just put the hood up so I'll show you that. So that's it going up. So there is the glass and it's heated and you have these little windows that do go up and down as well so you can have a complete convertible or you can have have uh, these ones up these ones stay down with the roof down whereas in the coupe you have a much larger window i'd say the visibility as a result is slightly better in the coupe unless you've got the roof down obviously um, but it's nice that it's got a sunroof as well. So yeah, so there's the the similarities, differences on in how they in terms of how they are static. Um, I'm going to take them both for a drive now and talk about how differently they drive, how the manual drives differently to the Tiptronic, and how obviously the convertible is different in the way it handles to the coupe. So yeah, stay tuned for that.